Hello everyone welcome to Professional Training Academy. In this video we are gonna discuss about effective product backlog management. Product backlog definition. The product backlog is an ordered list of everything that is known to be needed in the product. The product owner is responsible for the product backlog, including its content, availability, and ordering. What it consists the product backlog lists all features, functions, requirements, enhancements, and fixes that constitute the changes to be made to the product in future. Releases. Product backlog items have the attributes of a description, order, estimate, and value. Product backlog items often include test descriptions that will prove its completeness when done. Product backlog item types. User story. Change request. Defect research activity. Technical improvement use case. Business requirements. Functional requirements. Non-functional requirements. User story. An informal and brief description of needs that may be part of the product. It is usually a written form representing the perspective of a potential user of the product. Regarding functionality or a feature. The user story describes the user who needs. Functionality or a feature, their contexts and goals. A user story may match the following format as a role, I need, capability, so that receive benefit. Role defines who needs something. Capability, the exact need. Receive benefit, a positive outcome for the requesting party. Change request. If a change to the current product has undergone a change request process, the modifications may need to be added to the product backlog. Defect. Defects found on. The product. Research activity. Specific needs and functionalities may require preliminary research before real development. The research may cover technologies or development approaches. 2. Be adequately written down in the product backlog, the research activity should describe what exactly should be learned and the expected outcomes. Spike is one popular term for a research activity of this kind. Technical improvement. Technical improvements can be Executed if technical teams have previously developed rapidly parts of the product at the expense of technical quality. Use case. The use case is usually a list or scheme describing the steps and events needed to complete a process. It can describe how functionality or parts of the product work or are supposed to work. The use case can be part of particular product backlog items or can be added to the product backlog itself as separate items. Business requirements. Business. Requirements describe the high-level needs of business stakeholders related to a product. Functional requirements. Functional requirements are created and used by technical teams. They typically describe the activities of a system or part of a product that needs to be implemented so business requirements are satisfied. Non-functional requirements. Non-functional requirements are often related to product quality. They do not describe behaviors, systems, functionalities, but rather requirements of quality, usability, efficiency, and other parameters. Major product backlog items attributes. Name. Content. Type. Acceptance criteria. Definition of done. Size. Priority. Name. The name describes the item in short. Content. The actual content of the item. It may be a text, graphic, sketch, animation, or any other format depending on the item type. And the needs of product teams and business stakeholders. Type. The type can be useful for differentiating and filtering different kinds of product. Backlog items. Acceptance criteria. Acceptance criteria is a popular term in software engineering and is closely related to acceptance testing procedures where parts of the product undergo different types of testing. Acceptance criteria may be considered as a scope description of a particular product backlog item and of the exact created and tested needs in the context of the item. They are usually created for teams that develop and test the product and are used as strict guidance. Informally, the acceptance criteria explain when the work on a product backlog item may be considered as completed. Definition of done. The definition of done is a written description that formalizes that a product backlog item is really done in terms of development, testing, deployment, delivery, or formally accepted by stakeholders or customers. It may include particular 
steps, activities, and roles involved in the actual acceptance of the work. Size. Describes the approximate amount of work needed for a product backlog item to be fully. Completed. Priority. Shows the priority of a product backlog item. The product owner should encourage the scrum team and stakeholders to create new product. Backlog items. The scrum framework fosters collaboration. Therefore, product owners cannot be the only ones who manage the backlog backlog. Once new product backlog items come in, we as product owners should instead understand, refine, and suitably order them. Only the product owner can manage it. Another points to remember for what not to do in backlog management.